China's People's Liberation Army has conducted live fire drills involving four-legged robotic platforms equipped with automatic rifles, according to reports from state broadcaster CCTV7. The exercises were carried out by units of the People's Liberation Army's 76th Group Army in a mountainous area of northern China, not far from the Russian border. Footage released by the broadcaster shows the robotic systems, resembling mechanical dogs, integrated into infantry operations and advancing across uneven terrain while providing covering fire. The systems demonstrated capabilities such as obstacle avoidance, remote communication with human operators, and target engagement in close quarters scenarios. In the televised footage, People's Liberation Army soldiers are seen maneuvering while robotic units crawl forward and engage simulated enemy positions with rifles mounted on their backs. The exercise marks one of the most public demonstrations of China's growing use of robotic ground platforms in tactical scenarios. The robots are designed to supplement ground troops in areas where human soldiers face heightened risk. These robotic systems can follow soldiers across complex terrain and provide firepower where human troops are most vulnerable. These platforms are being evaluated for roles including reconnaissance, suppression of enemy positions, and urban combat support. The robotic systems were also tested alongside small tactical drones, which provided aerial surveillance and relayed targeting information to ground forces. The integration of air and ground robotics is intended to enhance situational awareness and operational efficiency in contested environments. The exact location of the exercises was not disclosed, though Chinese media confirmed the drills took place near the country's northern border. Once again, China's unique development has come to the public and indicates its ambition in integrating autonomous operation into the armed forces, reducing the most complex tasks and facilitating the most dangerous operation. China is now stepping forward and fortifying its position to challenge the supremacy of the United States. China's ongoing developments made it a self-reliant. Whereas long before China heavily relied on Soviet technology and replicated weapons, which origins belong to other countries. But in the ongoing decades, China's astonishing developments have sparked speculations among the military analysts, how this country suddenly appeared with fortified position and cutting-edge weapons. China's most recent ambitious developments, particularly the sixth-generation fighters such as J-36, J-50, and the H-20 stealth bomber, have left the United States and Russia far behind. Furthermore, China's engineering of armed robotic dogs takes it one more step ahead in adopting artificial soldiers, which can alter the battlefield providing surveillance, reconnaissance, and fire support. Chinese four-legged robotic dogs are incredibly powerful and versatile, exhibiting impressive speed, agility, and load-carrying capabilities with some even matching human sprinting speeds. Chinese military forces are integrating four-legged robotic dogs into combat scenarios, primarily for reconnaissance, perimeter security, and providing firepower in dangerous situations. These robotic dogs, often equipped with automatic rifles, can navigate difficult terrain, relay information back to human operators, and engage targets with precision. They are designed to operate alongside infantry, offering a force multiplier in urban warfare and other challenging environments. China's People's Liberation Army utilizes variations of the armed robotic dogs. They differ from each other based on the task and versatility. Let's break down the capabilities of some formidable robotic dogs. China's Bloodwing Robot, a combat robot dog, is designed to support infantry in various combat scenarios. The robot can carry weapons like machine guns and potentially other equipment like cameras and medical supplies, enhancing reconnaissance, perimeter security, and assault operations in dangerous environments. 
Bloodwing robots can be dropped by drones behind enemy lines or onto rooftops, enabling surprise attacks or establishing a presence in otherwise inaccessible areas. The robots can be deployed for perimeter security, monitoring areas and responding to threats. Armed with weapons like machine guns, Bloodwing robots can provide direct fire support for infantry units, engaging enemy targets. These robots undermine the hazard for the soldiers and facilitate the way to carry out strategic operation both lowland and mountainous territories. The robots are designed to navigate various terrains, including those that may be challenging or dangerous for human soldiers. They have a decent payload capacity, allowing them to carry various equipment like weapons, ammunition, medical supplies, or other necessary gear. The Bloodwing is an example of China's advancement in robotic warfare, potentially changing how military operations are conducted in the future. Unitree's robotic dogs are being developed for military use, specifically for combat support and reconnaissance by the Chinese military. They are designed to navigate difficult terrain, carry payloads, and are equipped with features like automatic firearms for engaging targets. Equipped with features like 4D LiDAR and 3D LiDAR, these robots can map environments, detect obstacles, and identify potential threats. They can transmit reconnaissance data back to command posts, enabling quicker decision-making, and can autonomously plan routes, avoid obstacles, and approach targets, even in complex environments. Some models are equipped with automatic rifles, allowing them to engage targets, potentially replacing human soldiers in certain combat scenarios. In conclusion, Unitree robotic dogs are becoming an increasingly important part of the Chinese military's combat support capabilities. Offering a range of potential benefits, including enhanced reconnaissance, improved perimeter security, and the potential to replace human soldiers in dangerous situations. However, the live fire drills is part of a broader shift in People's Liberation Army operational doctrine, with an increased focus on unmanned systems and networked combat.